Hello everyone, I'm the Micro Tyrant, and we're gonna we're playing some Project Quorum EverQuest. Now, for those that don't know, this is a private server. Um, it's actually a significant number of people, or 2,000, 2,500, something around there. Uh, I didn't catch the number of how many were online at the moment today. But, yeah, we're just trying to level our little mage. Just realized the sound might not be. Oh wait, I did turn it down some. There we go. Alright, so we're in a tricky situation. In this forest there's uh, giant bats that are like 9 and 10, and then a lot of critters that are like 1 to 4. Maybe not 9 and 10. 8 and 9? I don't know, they're conning red to me and I'm 6. So we're just trying to find things that are hopefully white, but it seems to be very rare. Did... I guess the blue bat's okay. Okay, so he's rooted the bat. Now since the bat is rooted... Okay, uh, that sinks into the ground. So that's what we're basically looking for. We're gonna use him until it says a bat sinks into the ground. Because that means the bat is rooted. And we can have him back up so we can attempt to get more of the experience. Greens at this point aren't really giving us experience, so it doesn't really seem worth it. Didn't really announce the stream, it's just kind of like a... whim. Something I decided to do on a whim. Okay, I don't want to be going towards the town. Because A, there's already a lot of people there, and B, there's not a lot of mobs. That's not... Oh, that's just a dead orc. Oh, because I'm at orc camps. Alright. Green pixie trickster. Yellow bat. Okay, we're going to try this yellow bat. I think he's resisting the root. Can we get him back? Can, nope. Okay, but the bat is still rooted for another second, so if I can get these spells out. For yellow bat, he's doing red bat damage. I don't like this. Nope, I'm dead. always been the problem with that request is that you're it's a guessing game whether or not this yellow versus that yellow is going to be the same and the like 
the bat did one to three, but then did twelve to fourteen damage. It's not like consistent. I mean, the earth fell just as quickly as like a fire pet would have. <sighs> Earth's supposed to have like way more HP than the fire pet. And honestly, more defense too. what it is, I guess. Abjuration 6, what are my... Abjuration is 5, Conjuration is 6. And channeling's up to 35, as is Evocation and Meditate. I mean, there's... Experience is progressing, but I think it's slower. Like I said, this is a, a kind of a rough level. Uh, and really, seven is going to be kind of rough too, because all the pets will be a lower level than me. Maybe I should just only be fighting blues and just overpower them. It's a blue bat. It does look like an experience is coming a little better doing it this way.
Ooh, that's loud. Leather rinse repeat of spellcasters. Kill a few things and then regen your mana. I don't think I have a torch. So if you give your pet a torch, it forces a it forces it to learn to dual wield and basically just stabs with the dagger, then punches with its hand. Still so slow. All 
I'm sure I'm doing something wrong that's supposed to make this a lot easier. That orc grunt is coming, or orc pawn is coming like right for me, but he has a torch, so I kind of want him to, anyways. I'm very sure I did s I'm doing something very wrong or just I don't know. That's probably it, I just don't know. The wasp, wasp broke through that root very quickly. I've seen Asada, who apparently just inspected me a number of times.
You know, I wouldn't normally just go after a green, but it has a weapon. Looks like a rapier. And I want to sell it. Yep, rusty rapier. Skeleton. Oh. I'm not seeing a weapon. Widow is quite a distance away from where they normally spawn. You have a dagger. Yep, a steed dagger. I said four silver on you, which isn't terrible at this point. Let's go back to the I guess I can just come over to the road. Met up a little more. Yeah. 
Green bat. I don't know if somebody just got rid of the bats to get rid of them, or... Didn't think it was worth looting them, or what? No one asked you, Black Wolf.
come on, there's the route. Sinks into the ground. There we go. Huh. Ooh, staff. Crack stuffs always sell for a little coin. Now this is a bandit camp. I'm gonna go see if anybody's messing with it because last time I think they were yellow. That one's blue, wow. Blue, blue, and blue. Okay, now I don't know if they all come at the same time, so this might be a death sentence. I'm just at least make sure I have. Oh, they look at me indifferently, huh? I just realized the whole time I was looking at that, it was on stream. All right. I swear I just saw a bat fly by. All right. We're going to try and pull one of the bandits, see what happens. We get all three. All right. See if I can gate out of here. I did. Nice. 
Come, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. I have no clue if he's going to make it. Nope. Wait, yes, he's still... And he's regaining health. Here he comes. Keep on. Come on. Why are the guards not taking out the bandit? Okay, is it just the one left? Nope, there's the other two. It's so weird that the guards didn't get them. I know, the bandits probably pay off the guards. Stop flipping over there.
I get I did get him. Let me give this one a dagger. Garbarag. Okay, now someone's buying a stack of pixie dust. So I just need one more. It's funny that... Yeah. Somebody is paying one platinum per stack. Somebody else is trying to sell them for three platinum for a full stack. Or one platinum each. Twenty per stack. Man. Guess everybody went north. Oh, I summoned him before I zoned. That was stupid of me. I forgot there's no persistent summons, so if you summon it before you zone, you lose it in the zone. I need one more pixie so I can get a stack, because I will totally sell that for 20 platinum. I'm sure they took their beef to Whispers, but it would have been funny if they uh, kept it in OOC so we could all see. Man, there's dozens of them down here earlier. So does green just not get you any experience? That's like, there we go. one's pod left but should be able to get there I 
I think people buy it because there's a quest. But like, I don't know where the quest is. <laughs> yeah, EQ still exists. This is a private server, um, Project Quarm. They are currently locked to just classic, so like the original release. Uh, but in about six weeks, give or take, they're going to release uh, Kunark, the first expansion. Uh, they're doing nine month releases per expansion and then they're gonna hard stop at POP. Uh, it's a modified version of uh, EQ for Mac. So they're um, able to adjust it a little easier than uh, something else. But yeah, I just... Sorry, uh, trying to sell some pixie dust. Uh, yeah, I know Noya used to play. I've mentioned it to him, but he didn't seem like he was interested. Probably just because of the time sink. I'm just kind of doing it to have something to do. Uh, trying to remember which of these lists is which. That's busy map. Oh, darn. Just trying to wave to that person. Um... My buddy got me into this, a uh, good friend of mine, who also originally got me into WoW, but he's since um, stopped playing. Uh, he stopped playing when his daughter was born and his wife hasn't wanted to go back yet. Which bag was it, that one? But he, uh, he was playing it the other night, and I'm like, sure, I'll give it a try. And I've been having a little fun, but I forgot how slow leveling is. I forgot how painful pretty much everything is a mage is. <laughs> like, I get mages of the... Uh, I remember selling Crushbone Orc vent belts, memory serving back in the days. Yep, I still have a couple and waiting for somebody to... Waiting for somebody to say that they're trying to buy them. Um, at five. Uh, but yeah, it was something to do, mess around a little bit. Um, so the, like I said, the server is a private server. It's modified, um, really easy to set up, uh, to get in though. And it's not like you have to jump through hoops to join. They just have a couple rules. Like they really frown upon, uh, stealing other people's, um, targets and things like that. Uh, one thing always hurt this game was lack of ease doing it with any quests. All you could do is XP grind a level up. I mean, there are quests, that's the thing, is you had to really search out the quest. You had to talk to every NPC to find their, the, you know, find which quests that they had. Um, that's why Crush Bell, uh, Crush... The, that's why the belts were always so useful, because, um... Ooh, that one has a staff. Darn it. Um, 
Because, yeah, it's a repeatable quest. You can just continuously turn the belts in for experience. Um, the other, uh, one of the interesting things about this server is the, uh, the person who runs it, um, is very, like, player-oriented. Like, one thing that bothered her was there were these, um, like, mana orbs, I think. I can't remember what they were called, but, uh, basically... So what happened is the original 90 days of the game, there was a whole bunch of stuff happening, and then they, for some reason, at, at that 90-day mark, they made a lot of stuff not drop and moved forward uh, in a different direction with the game. And um, some of the stuff still doesn't drop, but what, they, what she did is she made it, with a slightly different name, recolored. So, like, instead of having, like, um, uh... I think it's a, instead of a gold armor, there's like a, a brown like potato color armor. That it's the exact same stats and it has a slightly different name. But um, you know, she made it to where it's there's things you can still get. Uh, she increased the respawn rate for most areas. Uh, the big thing though is that all of the the raid bosses are in instant zones, so you actually go to a special instance of the different planes, like the plane of air, uh, for the for your raids. So you don't have to fight over it, you don't have to get up at like 3 a.m. because that's when it decided to respawn. Because it respawns every 18 hours, you can just do it every 18 hours if you want, or you can do it once a day. Um, my buddy did um, plane of air, I think, three times last week, uh, which is actually more than what they normally do. But it just happened to be that that was how often they wanted to do it. They had enough people on. Um, he's actually in a smaller guild compared to some of the other guilds on the server. Uh, they just hit their 50 mark for people in a raid. You know, you can have up to 70. Um, but like I said, they don't... So they don't uh, advertise... Didn't I summon my pet? No pet. I did not summon it. All right. Uh, they don't advertise. They basically just, if they're partying with somebody, like doing grinding, and they like them, they invite them. Or if that person knows somebody from, uh, somebody who's already in the guilds and wants to join, then they'll invite them that way. Um, but yeah, the instance rating is the big thing for me. That's why I, I like it and why I'm going to try it. Uh, that and getting in right now uh, before Kunark is like a good, I don't know if it's a great area, a good area, but it seems like it would be a decent idea. Are you doing alright with him? Alright, you seem to be alright. But one thing nobody can ever say about EverQuest is that it's easy. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be... Um, I'm actually thinking probably streaming our raid tonight just because it's going to be an LK, uh, you know, an LK kill. And then um, I'm definitely going to be streaming my leveling process for Kata. It's just something to do. Sometimes people get over here and talk, and then I'm not, you know, talking at myself. I can't say talking to myself, because I don't even listen to myself, so I'm really just talking at myself. Where are you? You should be attacking this spider. Did you root it? Ah, I got rooted. Okay, let's go ahead and back up for a minute. Nope. Nope, root the spider again. I'm not seeing that sinks into the ground. He may be resisting the root. Is it? Yep, I think he's resisting the root. Yeah, um, 
I mean, I would assume that we might go back with less than a full raid. Because I know a number of people are still trying to get their Shadow Morn, but it's going to be our last scheduled. And Noya did say we're going to take a week off for uh, people who want to ra uh, want to just focus on leveling and whatnot. And I know I definitely want to be doing a lot of leveling because I want to get that pet that uh, Scarab Mount if I don't get it and the Vial of Sands. I also found out Discord has a streamer mode, so it'll block everybody's name and stuff like that, so. Looks like there's some people chilling over here. There is a guard here, though, so there's that. Uh, also kills any pings coming in on DMs and such. Oh, gotcha. I haven't used it yet because uh, I haven't been on hey yep how's it going Grim yeah uh, Bezord is uh, one of the guys I raid with and wow words are hard today <laughs> interestingly enough that wow was perfectly timed even though what I was saying was World of Warcraft but yeah I uh uh Bizorder and our guild leader Noya were in EverQuest originally. And I'm like, I mean, I'm just saying, if you're interested to waste a couple times, Quorum is such a good server. <laughs> I have no clue how much time they have to game, though, but I've definitely been mentioning it to him and explaining what's going on. And watching my pet die and dying myself. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to 10 with how often I die. Okay, hang on just a second. that was a place offering an assistant manager position so we're well offering to interview for it so hey who knows Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pizza place, but it's a system manager position. I, I would still be working, but, it, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I need something, and that would be pretty cool. You know, I've been, uh, yeah, yay interviews. You know, I was a shift lead at Taco Bell for two years, so, you know, I know how to manage stuff. I also basically did a third if not half of my store manager's job because she was never there and always needed paperwork submitted and stuff like that. Okay.
Right. Anyways, my mana is back. So let's... Oop. Alright. I mean, I need something for now while I work on this and while I work on hopefully finding... Ooh, you have... Oh, I don't have my pet. But you are blue. And I know oracles are usually... Usually higher level than me or... It's... Yeah, I mean, that's where I, I... That's basically what I did is just got it to see what happens. I know I'm not going to be self-sufficient on this anytime soon, but I'm going to do what I can and see... Ooh. All right, you're white, so this shouldn't be... Nope, that was... That did not go as at all according to plan. And now I forgot where the lift is. There it is. Come on, guards, help me get these orcs. <laughs> well, the backup plan is always cheese it, and it works well this time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as I was saying earlier... Uh, Grim is the one that introduced me that uh, introduced me to the server. If you happen to have any questions, I just noticed Pokemon Community Day is about to start, and I'm like, eh, I don't care for Bond Suite. Alright, let's get another pet. And a dagger. Oh, I'm still shielded. Now oh, we'll renew it. Uh. Guess I could not stare at the ground. But then again, there's not a whole lot to stare at. There's nobody nearby fighting or anything. Maybe there's somebody up this hill. Let's go up the hill, see if we can see people over here. There's an orc. Orc Centurion. That is blue. So that's a fi Here, almost, uh, first set of group ports. Almost a real... Oh, a... Ended up having to sew the last 10% of my level last night at 5 a.m. because the groups were all full and unrest. Got your first set of group ports. Almost a real druid. I mean, hey, it's progress, right? That's all that matters. I My progress is coming very slow. <laughs> Someone sent me to tell exactly as a level to asking for a port. My first customer paid me 20 plat. I mean, that's awesome. Okay, there is a small group over here at Orc Camp. Orc Hill.
Easiest 20 plat you've made? Probably not, really. Okay, Dubious is probably not good for the for this rank. I mean, the good thing is that you had the spells on you to learn, right? I don't know if I could do both of these. Hang on a second. Uh, since I'm bound and leveling in unrest, I can port bot there till I get a party. Yeah, valid. Um, I, I kind of want. What are they? Are they both centurions? They are both centurions. Okay. What? So I, I don't think people usually come after this little group. I think they usually just stick with that one. Ooh, there's a oh. There's only four of them. Nope. Oh. Okay, I'll pull that one. Nope, oh, alright, attack it. Trying to do a thing where I wait for him to root and then I pull him back. So that I can get more spell casts in. So I get more experience, of course. There we go. Got it. Try to make sure I get that. Also, that means if you need transport around, I'm only a text away. That's valid, yeah. Um. Theoretically, that means you could, uh, you you know, if you get a chance, I could get those spider webs. All right, come over this way. <laughs> He's rooted over there. I was like, why is he not moving? Oh, right, the root. Out. He was must have been green. I thought he was blue. Oh, I know. Mages and our silly pets. Uh, give it to the mule. Collect it on the druid and <laughs> wizzy <Wizzy> whale muzzle. <laughs> I just, I don't want to party with Slurms McKenzie, though. I, actually, Slurms was fine. It was the queen that was the real issue. <laughs> Wizard name Wizzy Wamwazzle. I mean, that would be a great name. I wonder how many people would get it. Should definitely go see if the first name Wizzy is available. I don't think I'm getting any experience from greens. I don't know. Are you supposed to not get experience from greens? Or is it just the level I'm at? Because I thought it was... I don't remember. No XP from greens for now. Okay. And there's supposed to be... When you get higher, there is a light a stage for light blue between dark blue and green, right? It's just I'm not seeing it right now because the level difference is so uh, small. It's a dark green or something to that effect. Yeah. So I'm just, I haven't, I haven't seen it. It literally goes, oh, you won't start seeing light blues until you're in the high 40s. Oh, they suck when you're in the high 40s. That's a yellow. That's a dark blue. Okay. Come on, sink into the ground.
Uh, they're less than a half a percent or something, so low might as well be green. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, orcs are everywhere up here. Two to four percent off each dark blue of my druid. Yeah, this UI doesn't show percent, but I've only gained this bubble for this hour, and it's just, it's slow. But there's, the yellows just rip through, at least the yellow bats, they look, that, and that's the only thing that's conning yellow right now. They, like, rip through my pets. Even the earth elemental, they're just ripping through them. So I'm looking for whites, and the whites are, it's like, uh... A high level spawn of of the enemies. Or, uh, yeah. <clears throat> We're not killing everything in sight. You have a number of built in UIs. Ah. I guess I'll have to check out the built in UIs then. Um. But what I was trying to say is. I forget now. Oh. At level 6, the only things that are level 6 are either rare high spawns of certain enemies or rare low level spawns of others. Nothing directly spawns at 6. So it's hard finding whites. So either I have to kill a bunch of blues or pray I get lucky fighting a yellow. And it doesn't manage to super crit my pet. Use the base power of two UI, but lots of people swear by Drixia and other ones that are also there. Level 5 bard looking for group. I gotta be careful. I don't want to anger. I don't want to anger the fairies so much so that I become KOS or the pixies. Oh, that was a fairy guard, not a pixie guard. Never mind. But still, the guards are all con the fairy guards are all conning red. Lucky enough to kill whites because pet class. I mean, valid. It's funny because the whites are actually just like not a challenge and then yellows are like this is this is probably gonna kill me most times <laughs> it's just the bats like the yellow spiders when this when i was fighting spiders at five and they were yellow they weren't an issue but the bats they've got um they just have like a high crit rate or just got high damage rate because i'm watching them do like 10 to 12 damage consistently honestly I should probably be just turning in my bat wings get a little bit more experience I love the uh, the terms it wants to block. I mean, I know it's just a vague like spreadsheet of terms. Uh, lesser fate arc, the random level thirty brownies who will nuke you into orbit. Yeah. I 
I thought there was like a a gray level and green was just like barely any experience, but now I know green is no experience. You are white though. I do not have mana. And I pulled this anyways. Alright, go attack him. Ha. Alright, well. Can you come over here? Alright, come back here. Let's let him sit there, rooted for a minute. All your natural regen lets you regenerate health quickly. seeing him. Did he, did he root? He rooted. Okay. Alright, regen a little bit more. Need to actually come over here when I say back up. Alright, I think we should be able to get him after this. Okay, yes, go back to attacking. So I'm gonna get in and take some hits. And he's running. See, I would not have been able to do that with the fire pet. Um, for whatever reason, on my ranger, they were not KOS, but the brownie town in that zone, the guards were... They sell spells and crap, so I guess you need to illusion or invis past the guards. But like 46, I rolled in there just to see what... It was, and the guard chased me across the zone and into Miss Moore. I had like 5% life on his finally safe little jerks. Now, did you not know that the guards were KOS? You just assumed because the other ones weren't you'd be safe, or... Ah, uh, that does suck. I will not attack this, I just like looking at them. Because they, they look upon you warmly. It's like, no, I don't want them to not look upon me warmly. I mean, for all I know, they don't have a faction loss, but I'm not going to risk it. What am I doing? Forget I need to, you know, meditate. Or, yeah, meditate. Get my mana back. Uh, figure the zone roamers were safe, so let's check it out. Heard they had vendors. Almost lost seven experience to a in a long corpse run. But the thing is, you didn't, and that's the positive part. It's funny, earlier there was somebody um, saying that they wanted, they were buying Pixie Dust one gold each, or a stack for 20 platinum, or a stack for two platinum or three platinum, something like that. And then this person goes, I'm going to buy them for one platinum each, come but sell them to me. <laughs> They even said, like, buying for almost six times the amount. <laughs> it just made me laugh. I happen to have had a stack, so I'm just like, here you go, I'll take my 20 platinum, thanks. Then I turned around and found a cracked staff, so between the 35 I've gotten tonight, or I got last night from the guy killing the bard, the bard killing the guards, I saw him earlier today, but I didn't get a chance to message him. He was, like, teleporting out uh, when I ran past him. 
I don't know if you were ever able to figure out who who he was, the bard from last night that's in your guild. I think the Will-O-Wisps are still red to me. They are. But I figured I'd play a little bit and then get some food and then uh, like I was telling Bizarre, I'm going to be streaming our uh, Lich King kill tonight. I now have six belts to sell the next time I see somebody buying them. <sighs> Baby just passed out so you're gonna level a druid. That's always a smart thing if you're especially if you're having fun doing it. Ooh, spider. Ooh, white spider. Ooh, no, two spiders. You guys are going to make this difficult for me, aren't you? No? Thank you. Ooh, little orc. Eh, I want the white spider. There we go. That's perfect positioning. All right. Okay, back up a little bit. Restore some of your health. Come on. Darn it. Oh, well. I guess it was a noble death. He's almost dead. Probably a commanding it. You know, come up music annoys you, you can set it to false. Um, it's not that it really annoys me, I just, uh, didn't want to attack at that time. I don't know. I guess it kind of does. My issue is that it's loud, but if I drop the music volume down, then the other volume of everything else seems to disappear, and it's just like, eh. You're a blue one. I'll probably go set the I and I file later to just set it off false so there's no combat music. Also, like, inject your own file into it, play that, but I don't like any different music playing over the game. I'll put Final Fantasy VII fight music on. I mean, it is what WoW did for the longest time. Alright. Would have been... would have been my first thought, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to make sure it's actually Final Fantasy IV, just to be different. 
Because, you know, it's really that different. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just glanced over at my Discord and I had a notification. Um, there's this guy who goes by Kane, K-H-A-I-N, uh, A-I-N-E. Um, he does a, a hardcore mod for Seven Days to Die known as Darkness Falls. For Seven Days Die to People, he's a very well-known person in it, and Darkness Falls is a very well-known mod. Uh, he had just tagged people in his announcements because he's getting access to Alpha 22, which is version 1.0 of Dead by Daylight. There are... not Dead by... yet. Yeah, no, Seven Days to Die, Seven Days to Die. Um, they're finally going gold, quote-unquote, which means disc ready, ready to launch as a... A regular game instead of calling everything update or alphas so yeah that's gonna be really cool i think it's next week it's hard to believe it in all right ryan reynolds we'll do with that later but i'm excited for him he's a really like chill person he doesn't let people give him crap but he also doesn't let people give each other crap. And the mod's really fun, but like everything with Seven Days, it's incomplete. Because, <laughs> like, uh, the fun pimps for the people who make Seven Days to Die, and they said that they're going to um, eventually have a deal where you, after you interact with all of the vendor, the NPC vendors in the game, or traders is what they're called, um, you can get your rep up by doing quests with them and everything. And then there's going to be a... Sorry, my ear itches. There's going to be a quest where you have to go and you interact with... A um, person who calls himself the Duke of Nav's Game. Nav's Game is like the unofficial... New world title for that part of the country that the game is supposed to take place in, I guess is how you would put it. And, uh, uh, the, the Duke is a reference to the fact that the currency that they use is called Dukes, which is just a uh, bronze coin, because bronze being the most profitable metal at the time in the game. Um,. <clears throat> But as of now, they haven't really implemented any of it other than faction, other than uh, ref with the traders, because it's how you get uh, better quests that have better rewards. Um, and so, by on the flip side, because darkness, because there's no end for that, darkness falls. I think they kind of have like a light ending. Uh, so Darkness Falls, what they do, instead of just the zombies of Seven Days, they have demons that come through these portals, and there's a whole other thing with basically trying to cut off to... Oh, there we go. Somebody is buying... Buying my belts. Um... But I, last time I played, they didn't have a... Uh, yeah, easy money. Um, last time I played Darkness Falls, they didn't have an ending. Also, they added a bunch of items, and I don't know if the extra items were intended to be... Um, like, I know they wanted to make more... Because, like, once you start reaching a point with uh, enemies being stronger, you need tougher weapons... And since they had the tougher demon enemies, they had tougher weapons. But it just, it felt like a bit much. Alright, where... Where are you, Meatball? Uh, 
The story uh, is one of the other two people is a different person paying one plat per pixie dust, and Fakin is the one paying one gold per pixie dust. <laughs> like, don't shortchange people. It's like I don't care what other people pay. It's like I hope nobody sells to you then, because literally paying a tenth of the price of what they could get from somebody else. All right, where? Here's the one left. He's not here. <clears throat> uh, when you said Duke Vine instantly transported to escape from New York and Aqua Teen Hunger Force, he's the Duke or New York. He's a no. He's a number one. Um, not sure I actually remember that one. Let me go back this way. Duke of New York, he's a number one. Every time Fakken says he's buying him for one gold, somebody else is like, I'm buying him for one platinum. It's actually now the third person I've seen buying him at one platinum. <laughs> Okay, I know the other ports are more over this way. I just gotta get over there. Of uh, Dukes being courtesy, I think of Ducats because warm frame. Yeah, aren't they actually pronounced like... I think the pronunciation's supposed to be different because it's based on like uh, some... Um, Middle Eastern currency or something? Like Dakuts or something like that. It's actually how they're pronounced. I don't know. They're Ducats to me too. Okay, so you're not at this lift. Damn it, Meatball, where are you? Nope, he's not online. Gosh darn it, Meatball. You platinum tease. Oh, is it Meatballs? It's Meatballs, that's why. There was a real world currency called ducats, at least pronounced that way, but spelled the word for from way. But in game they call it ducats or something close to that. Oh, gotcha. All right. Well, stop being busy, so I give you these stupid belts. That's the only one I need open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't like the Lucan models. I will ag agree with you on the the Earth Elemental, it, it, but I think both versions look terrible. But, like I said, everything looking like it's supposed to be based off a tornado. An earth tornado, a fire tornado, a water tornado. It's like, yeah, no. So, honestly, if I could, I would make my own models. 
The uh, Earth one would basically be like Graveler or Golem from Pokemon. Le that style, not like literally take that out of <laughs> Pokemon to put into the game. That would be a little lame. But it would be a big rock with hands, because that makes sense to me. Oh, I don't know how to change any of the models. I've literally just... I'm playing with what was downloaded. If you're going to get mad at anything, get mad at... Uh, what's her name? Secrets, I think, for making for not having everything default to the original models. Um, but yeah, my my rock pet would basically be a big boulder with like hands and feet. The fire pet would just be like a straight like gout of flames. Uh. I would keep the wind pet as like a tornado because that makes the most sense. And the water pet would be like small head with a large bottom, like a droplet of water. And that's how my pets would be. If I knew enough about 3D editing, I would try and make them and then see if I could just mod it myself. Well, uh, we'll use wild elementals. Um, but aren't the wild elementals all basically the same shape, just different colors? I think I've only ever really, like, seen fire and water, so I don't really remember. That is perfect. You get that sword-wielding white centurion for us. Okay. He is rooted. Come... No. No, he's not. Alright. Attack. Alright, this might not be that successful. Alright, I'm gonna step in and take some hits myself. Ha! Oh, right when the pet dies. Why does he always do that? They are pretty different. Three of the four don't have legs. I need to really, like, look at them. I'm sure there's, like, an elemental aisle I could even go to, and I just really don't remember. In fact, in their th Throne of the Elements is in Nag Nagrand, isn't it? I just want bone chips. I'm six. I'm... I've gained... Uh, so I was at two bubbles, so I've gained a bubble and a half in the hour 40 I've been playing, which is probably terrible, but most of the stuff I do is terrible. Yeah, I know. Two levels, really, though. Eight uh, feels so far away. Seven is going to be difficult. I think even though, like, the level before your spell level or your pet level is, or spell levels, I guess, is um, challenging, I think the only really bad one is four, and that's because of how small of a window you have for things under. Uh, how little the window is for uh, enemies under you. I'm keeping these just in case, because uh, um, the auction site said they sell for 10p each, which is much better than the one Platinum the vendor will give for me. And they weigh like nothing. Point 0.1, so. Alright, well the pet's dead, so I'm going to go ahead and run into town and deposit my money. There were, there's been a couple parties. In fact, I actually had them invite me a lot. Like, they whispered, hey, do you want to come join us? But I was just about to hop off. Oh, that's like the fourth person buying pixie dust for 1p. Nobody wants that guy to buy it for one gold. Everybody wants, so everybody's offering to buy him for one platinum. 
Usually the spam is for the belts. And this is the first time I'm seeing people literally fight over selling the pixie dust. I know it's probably weird depositing my money at this point, but I just want to be safe and I don't... Ah! Stupid door. And I don't want a um, whole bunch of weighty coins. I'm definitely prepped for my next set of spells though. Yeah, uh, I finally s stopped stupidly carrying all my uh, pelts with me that I was gonna that I'm gonna use for tailoring, so that brought me down under <laughs> three pounds from max. It is, but at the moment I don't think I need anything, and the bank's so close to where I've got my current uh, bind point. Or where they start your buying point, really. I'm sure eventually I'll be at the point where I'll just want to destroy copper because I won't have any use for carrying it, but... Right now, I'm keeping it until... Oh, insufficient mana. Alright, let's met up. What is our meditation at, anyways? 35. I'm guessing that's cap. Because it's been 35 for a while now. How do you... Do you remember how you tell sp uh, skill cap? Didn't I have a... I don't remember selling it. Five times level plus one. So yes, that would be 35 is my cap. So my conjuration, my evocation, and my meditation are capped for this level. It. I just found it. It's five times level plus one. So my level is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven times five is 35. So that's why conjuration... Evocation and Meditate are all at 35. The only thing that differentiates is um, weapons for priests is 4 times level plus 1, and weapons for casters is 3 times level plus 1. Offense, defense... Oh, offense and defense is just 5 times level as well. This formula does say could be outdated, but I'm assuming this was the their, the formula that they're pulling up was like classic or Kunak era because he does mention AAs. How a because your AAs can later raise them. Oh, thank you, Fakin. Even though you're the one who's trying to undersell, 
I will definitely take a... Shield of Flame buff. Alright. Uh, something to note for the future. When you get specialized, do not train them all at once. Train the one you want as your primary, then the other train for a few levels. I thought you could only specialize in one. Skills are highest at a certain point becomes your primary specialization, and you don't want that to be a crappy skill. Okay, I was only I was under the impression you could only train one anyway, so I was only going to train evocation. Because that's where most of my spells will be coming from. That's where all the all the direct damage spells are evocation. They say the two you should pick are either evocation for your direct damage or conjuration, which is uh, you know, your pets, your weapons, things like that, and then uh, the shock spell, so shock of blades, things like that. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely make sure that I, I wait to train the other ones. Um, but yeah, they do say you can do Conjuration because it lets you summon the pets for cheaper and things like that, but you should only be summoning downtime anyways. Um, and it only helps with the Shock of Blade spell line. <clears throat> Whereas Evocation is going to be all your other spell lines, so that's the one I'm going to be focusing on. All right. Four rogue looking for group or kills. Five druid looking for group. I don't know. If I go over there and there's not a lot of people, I might see if I can join up there or kill. Alright, I'm at max. You have five minutes. I'm not going to wait around for a minute. You're green. You're blue. We'll go ahead and attack you. Oh, are the setback going to join in? I know the bats c will sometimes social link. But I guess it's not close enough to trigger it. Oh, there went that sh fire shield. Did not last long. Hey, you're green. 51 is skill level you need in a school to mark it as your primary. Okay, cool. Here's the, the bandit camp, by the way. Fairy Royal Guard. But at the moment, they look at me indifferently. Uh, level 20, when you get specs, you can honestly dump the 30 training points into instantly to mark it. That sounds like a good idea. Come on, Joe Arm. Joe jo Narn. One point will bring it to your character level, so it goes directly to 20, then dump 30, bam, it's 51. Oh, gotcha. It's too far away to loot, alright. Then you can one point the other schools and they will raise normally. Yeah. The 
Fakken is really upset that people don't want to or don't want him trying to buy the sand or the dust at one gold. He's just like they may as well take uh, all coin out of the game but plat because people throw plat around like there's no other coin. A response. If three plat per combine at 50 plus skill is too much for you to handle, trade skills might not be for you. <laughs> They've got a point. <laughs> I'm guessing that means that it's three dust uh, per attempt. Are there, like, big food buffs? Is that why cooking is an actual, like, useful thing in this? Plat is a currency. It's just a currency of the players. That's true, too. bat. Big bat is yellow. We do not like yellow bats. Well, somebody is definitely cleaning up orcs around Orc Hill. So that is a lot of bodies. There is a... probably level 8... I think they've got the level 8 pet. And it looks like they're just kind of soloing Orc Kill. And they clearly just want the experience because all these bodies... Or maybe they're just picking up the gold and not the, any items on them. Yellow bat. Another yellow bat. Uh, there is stat food, yes, but not exactly eaten. When, well, your aim is not to eat it, um, but to trick the game into thinking you did. That sounds like something that needs more information. Also, I looked up in, uh, I looked up recharging items, and apparently you do it by selling and then buying back <clears throat> items. You need two of the same thing. You sell one and then you sell your empty one. Checks when you're hungry, then I'll attempt to eat whatever is in the top slot of your inventory bags. Got that. No, no, come back. Attack that. Thank you. Okay. How am I oom? Uh, for stat food to work, it needs to be in the top slot, but it's expensive, so we don't want to consume it. I understand that. Fill up on crap, then move the stat food to the top slot, but you need to remember to move it often. So how do you make it think you ate it when you didn't, though? You could just legit buy stacks of stat food or level cooking yourself if it's that big of a deal. Hmm. 
You can click the food to eat it. As long as you're full on any food and the stat food is at the top slot, you get the stats. Oh. Once you're hungry again, if you don't move it, it will consume it. I see. <laughs> Falcon's really trying to defend his his gold. Vendors only offer eight coppers, so one gold is well worth one, and three platinum for a full stack is good, but one platinum per is way overkill. Plus two or plus three int. So there, it's not... It's more min-maxing than you should probably have it with you type thing. Stuff is worth what people are willing to pay. He's not wrong. But at the same time, if people are willing to pay 1p and you're only wanting to pay one gold. Maybe one to two people in my guild even care. I mean, it could be something I could see myself doing because I like trade skills. It's funny because I hate leveling, but I don't mind leveling trade skills. I had fun dropping jewel crafting and uh, mining in WoW and picking up herbalism and alchemy. Mostly because there's flying in Old World, so it was easy to actually get to all of the herbs. Most of them make lots of fish rolls and never look back. Fish rolls have no stats, but it's like the biggest food in games. So one bite and you won't need more for hours and hours. I mean, if it's just about feeding, you know, mages can just summon food, so I won't even worry about that. I think another reason why I like the... I like crafting in EQ is because it's not a big list. You have to, like, originally people, yeah, food, water, summon. Um, originally people just had to guess to figure out recipes. Now, granted, they're all online now because the game's 25 years old, but it's still neat that... <clears throat> It was a trial and error thing, basically. Okay, what are you? You're green. But do you have a weapon? You do have a weapon. We're gonna go ahead and get your weapon. Wish I could get him to root all the time from this far back. Jeez. Like, just root where you're at and stay with me. Uh, Def will be leveling cooking at some point. Another orc pond. Where'd that spider go? I saw that spider a minute ago. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, I'm trying to do tailoring. I like it. I enjoyed it when I was on the P99 or no, the TLP server we did. Um... Granted, that was because I actually got high enough to sell bags uh, early enough that people didn't have bags. So I was making pretty good money off of that. Oh no, another widow. Oh, I'm oom. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure he's rooted. Let's back up. Okay. Oh, we're not targeting him. That's why. Okay. Alright, attack. Back up. We're gonna met up and you're gonna restore some health. This would be a good time for me to have renew elements, but it's not until level 8. Ah, 
Ah, st stupid orc shaman. Can we escape? Can you escape with me? Nope, he's dead. I probably will be too. Oh, I'm poisoned by a spider. That's fun. Save me, guards! Save me! Alright, I should be good. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm sad I lost my pet. I'm happy I didn't die. That's the big thing. Ah, uh, but yeah, it was it was really cool when I got I was actually able to make handmade bags on the TLP server because uh, it was still early enough that a lot of people didn't have them, and so I was selling them really nice. I need to pick your brain on what you use to help get your alerts and everything. Because, um, yeah, I don't have any and I feel like a scrub. I mean, I am a scrub, let's be honest. But I don't like feeling like one. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, somebody dinged five. Uh, use stream elements and interfaces with OBS. It's pretty simple, but I'm glad to help. Okay, I'll definitely check that out. I'm sure that's probably what a lot of people use. I just, I've only looked into it for like a minute or two. You know, this is old school EverQuest. It is intended to be difficult. <laughs> All right, we are back up. Let's get the pet again. I'm actually gonna, oh, how'd you get interrupted at the last second? Come on. There we go. I'm actually going to see if the merchant has a torch. Yes. 
What are they? One silver? Yeah, I'll buy it for a silver. I've sold a bunch for nine copper, but at least it gives my pet something. I don't know if I should make sure to give him the dagger first. I'm going to do that just to be safe. It's the barn. No, I'm not trying to drop it. There we go. There we go. He has a dagger and a torch. I've become better at Conjuration 9. You know, I'm going to make some bandages real quick. Ooh! I didn't notice that. I filled my bubble. There they are. Seven bandages. I wonder if they're, like... So you know... Mages, I think it's at 16, get throwing daggers. Is it... Like, ever a reason to really f use that, or is that would just be something... I mean, like, I guess I could see using it when I'm out of mana and the pet's not, like, dying or anything. Alright. Become better at Conjuration 10. That was literally the reason I did that. Monks might like them. Okay. Because, like, I remember I was trying to do it um, back in the day, and I probably will again this time. Low weight and they pull a ton. That could make sense. You are green. There's no reason to mess with you. You are white. There is definitely a reason to mess with you. I remember oracles can heal, so I definitely need to make sure I'm in there meleeing to help interrupt its casting. So. When it looks like it's starting to cast, get in to interrupt. Haha, his casting was interrupted. Alright, I'm doing well and the barm's almost dead, so let's... We'll just stay here in melee. Haha, he's running. What? Why did you... Well, he probably got rooted. Damn it, the barn. Your root was your own downfall. Six copper. You killed my elemental for six copper. Shame. I just saw somebody fall off. Was I think actually one of the guards, their pathing is messed up and they fall off. Sicken. He made me sicken. Uh. <clears throat> My fever has broken. Yay! <laughs> My kiddo was pretty excited about everything she got for her birthday. We didn't weren't able to do a whole lot, but um my aunt got her two LOL surprise dolls. And the new ones are cool, because I know uh, you had them, uh, you know, for your daughter a while a while ago. I don't know if she's still getting them. But um, she got one that's like, uh, like glitz and glamour, but it's like, one of them's a cheerleader. I don't know what they all are. But the, the ball that they came in, it actually pops apart and there's little pieces and you can put the pieces together and it makes like a little trophy. Like the two top halves of the ball, the ball splits in half and flips around so that the curved sides stick together, but they have just a small flat part with a little peg space. So you put the peg in there and then there's two little handles that stick in the top so it's a little trophy. And then the, um, the other one, the... 
one half of the ball is just half of the ball, but the other half breaks into two quarters, and then there's a little beam you can set it inside because it's a gymnast. So it's like she's doing a gymnastics routine on like a, the balance beam, the the vertical beam. Because that set is all uh, athlete based. So there's like a gymnast and like a professional hula hooper. Those are the only two I remember from the thing. But I like that they're doing things with the the ball now instead of it just being there to throw away. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I took a bunch of pictures of her opening it and putting it together. And, um, sent it to my aunt as a thank you. Alright, let's re-summon our pet again. Uh, oh, well, I really appreciate it. That would be awesome. I would like to skill up some. I need to find an area to farm it myself. The Widows do not drop any. I've killed, like, 50 of them and haven't seen a single one. Um, the P99 form said they're supposed to be... Uh, spiderlings in here that drop them, but I haven't seen them. Wow. <laughs> move it to the mole and get them. Move it to Druid and port to me. Um, would it be easier if I was by like the town gate? I don't know where your port specifically will take you. Okay. I mean, I do have gate spell, so it doesn't take long for me to get to there and then just run back. I'll actually probably find better enemies on that side, but I'm going to keep trying over here. <laughs> Somebody goes, what is the point of the fairy dust? High level skill ups for baking. Ah, good to know, thanks. So you're not supposed to snort not supposed to snort it? Look, I'm not gonna yuck your yum. <laughs> yeah. Brother, two ounces of pixie dust will port you anywhere you want, you dig. And that is what keeps a game interesting, having a fun community like that. But only in your mind was the response. My, my response, but if we're all extensions of our minds, wouldn't that also make it reality? <laughs> Just 
just a green pawn. Green wasp. I guess nobody found what I said funny. <laughs> somebody's... Nope, the response. Somebody's been in the pixie dust. comes an orc pawn that's going to attack me because he's a d-bag. But you know what? I will take that free torch and give it to my elemental. Someone responded with, uh, <clears throat> looks like somebody's been in the pixie dust. I'm like, nope, I'm, I, I sold mine, so I guess I'm more of a pusher. is really hopping for people today. I'm guessing because it's Sunday, but still. Didn't realize so many people would have new tunes. I don't know how many people are just new new and how many are alts. I will definitely fight this White Widow. Back up some. It's locked in place for a minute. Now see, this feels like pro strat. I don't know why some parts of the floor flicker like that, but it annoys me. Is this still just that one high level? Yeah. Higher level, anyways. I don't know if he's really a high level. I think he's 8 to 12. why I keep doing that. Ooh. It'd be nice to hit seven. I think I'd take a break then. And with the way I'm leveling, it'll be about a three hour stream when I do. <laughs> three hours per level. That sounds about right. I know, I know. It could be a lot faster if I could get a good group going. Although, like I said, this other mage has the camp on farm right now.
<clears throat> All right. I do not want yellow bat. Conjuration is 10, defense is 21. Offense and piercing are 20. Those are probably capped. I don't know, defense is 21, offense and piercing should probably both go up. What was the thing, what did that thing say the totals were? Did I close it? I closed it. Uh, five times level, so they should go up to 30. But piercing, maybe... No, because that would be... So that would be what? 7 times 3 is 21? Oh, piercing is at 20. Yeah. But those are 5 times level, so they should be 30. Offense and defense should go to 30. And they're only 20. <clears throat> but piercing should be 3 times level plus 1. So that's 21. So piercing should only go up one more, but offense and defense should go up 10 and 9, respectively. There's throwing, baking. So I guess all cooking is classified as baking, or is there an actual cooking and baking? It's probably just all baking. There's blacksmithing, tailoring, fletching, brewing, begging. Does... I remember that, I see now that there's begging and I remember, does begging literally do anything? Do NPCs give you money or something? Some do, some try to kill you. Not Vizari, I want to check that bat. That bat's yellow. That bat's yellow. We don't want yellow bats. It's worthless. I figured as much. I was more curious conceptually than empirically. Okay, you're an oracle, so I need to stay in melee so I can interrupt any spells you try to cast. That was pretty easy. Oh, you're an oracle too. One coffer. That's all you had. You couldn't even give me a belt. Just one coffer. I 
Wait, do you have a torch right now? You do have a torch, so I don't need to kill him. Eh, I'll kill him for later. I will definitely go after this blue spider. Okay, I think it rooted. Nope, did not root this time. Hey, he's dying anyways. I had just seen another one crossing by. In fact, I was worried it was going to link on, but it didn't. Oh, you're distance away. And you're white. I definitely want to fight you, except I don't have the mana. Just try and just get within your vicinity. Med for a moment. Not what I wanted to do. <coughs> All right. Okay. takes another hit, I'll run in. Okay, sinks into the ground. That's a decently distant... Wow, he was running away. Alright. That works too. Yes. Haha! -ha. A successful endeavor. My imp Oh, your imparse broke too? Did you, uh, did you update first off? And then I had to, I have to manually select the map. I don't know if it's supposed to change the map on its own, but that's what I've been having to do it, um, to get that part to work. Once I updated the map, it will show when I do the slash location, but only if it's the no post. If I do a regular slash location, it won't. It won't update. <clears throat> hey, Meatballs is back. Huh. Unfortunately, I can't answer that. All I can answer is mine does update with the thing. Um, try to double check and make sure it's finding your character. Because that's, I think, something else I had an issue. I think that was my first issue is that I thought it linked to my character, but it didn't. It didn't save it. I really don't know which one is pod lift, so I'm just going to have to search all of them. 
I think the uh, map I've been looking at before I, we got in parse working did show it. I'm so close. I'm happy. I'm not able to find better white quality, find more white quality enemies, as well as just uh, is that me false? That's me false. Which means this is the pod lift. It's the one in the center. That's it. Yep. See if we can cap this level before we uh, hop off. So we do the WoW raid at 4. I think 4, 4.15 is the official start time. So that's when I'll be hopping on. We got uh, Valtheria, Dreamwalker, Syndragosa, and Arthas. Yep, you're still red. <clears throat> Before my time, which would be seven your time. Oh, there's fights over the belts now. Mm, I don't want to fight a yellow centurion. I will fight a red spider, or a blue spider, though. Okay. Nope. Don't, don't get too close. Don't get too close. I don't want to fight you.
Spider! Blue spider! Alright. Okay, you got him. Rooted, so we're gonna sit here for a minute. Got it rooted again. <laughs> okay. I need to make a uh, button for back so I can spam it. Instead of having to click the tiny button that says back. Okay, I think should be able to take it once it comes at me again. Alright. Don't interrupt my spells. Don't reverse, don't resist my spells. Ah! <sighs> Resisting my burn so much. It's not like I'm trying to, you know, verbally burn you, because we know that would be bad. Oh! Ding! Level 7! Thank you, thank you! Okay. Are you in this zone yet? Because I'm about to gate back and chill for a minute. Let's say if you're heading towards me, I don't want to be, like, making you have to run the opposite direction. Okay, no, 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 that's fine. Like I said, I just didn't want you, didn't want you to be, like, running from, like, the Feywith gate to where I'm at, and then all of a sudden I gate all the way back to the other side of the map, you know? I am going to kill the spider before I leave, though. Tight, go, go get it. Are we not close enough for you to be in your attack range? There you go. Okay.
my aunt just sent me a picture of my cousin who I remember last I saw she was an itty bitty baby and she now has a nine month old child herself and it's just like time is weird yo she's like 14 years younger than me so she's mid 20s She's 12 or 14. I am sad I wasn't able to make it out to their wedding, but we had a lot of financial issues at that time. Meditate 40. Well, I've already maxed meditate for this level. Meditate, don't play, yo. Yeah, defense 22, piercing 21, so getting points in that. Ooh, there's a white giant bat? Let's go ahead and give that bat a try. Is it? Nope, it's not. Alright, just keep attacking. Uninstalled, reinstalled, back on track. Well, there you go. Don't know why it broke, but... Oh, stupid bats. Yep. Saw that happening. Should have just exited. I am nowhere near the camps. And there's now an orc oracle on me too. This is not going to end well. I'm going to just try it in their face. I have no other options. I'm not making it to the guards. Nope, there we go. Ah, yeah. That is the flaw with the fast spawn rate, is that sometimes things spawn too quickly. <laughs> I mean, that's valid. Yeah, I'm probably gonna uh, hop off after the, after you stop by. Um, getting close to three hours, wanna figure out something for lunch, chill for a little bit. Awesome. Buffs persist um, when you log out and log back in, if I remember, correct? So, that will work well. This is definitely the hurdle point. Ah, uh, the pet buffs don't save. Ah, well. Guess I should probably summon him just to have him ready. Save as much of the buff as I can the buffs as I can when I get back. I'll probably hop on after The pets don't last through logout? I thought they did. I thought it was just zoning that they didn't. Oh well.
Heck yeah, I appreciate it, brother. That's gonna be some good points. Now the other thing I need to find is spiderling silk. Or spiderling silk, um, specifically, so that I can make the threads. But those make the, the swatches, which... You use the thread and the swatch to make stuff. Not a big deal that I'm out a couple silver for my uh, malachite. I really appreciate everything you've done, man. Plus getting me addicted to this game. <laughs> But I am going to call this here and play more later. But like I said, we got EQ, we got a WoW in between. <sighs> so I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. If you're watching this on YouTube, hopefully you'll give me a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, I've been the Micro Tyrant, and I hope you have a good one.